One of my favorite things to do is to go to the gas station, pick me up a fresh glizzy, a nice large soda pop, and hope that I don't get onset diabetes. Though recently I've been wondering why this is an actual occurrence. Like, when did gas stations start selling food? And like, what is the history of gas stations? Where did they even come from? So today, we're going to take a look at a brief history of gas stations. Not only from a planner's perspective, but just a generalized history of them. So let's go. The story of the gas station starts in 1885 with the first petroleum pump being created in Fort Wayne, Indiana to dispense gasoline for kerosene lamps and stoves. This first pump station coincidentally coincided with the first automobile being created in Germany, which was a three-wheel wagon created by Carl Benz, the same goober that created the company Mercedes-Benz. At this point in the human timeline, the car was brand new, and also for like the next 20 years the automobile would be expensive because of it. Only the rich could afford them. The first service station created specifically for vehicles was constructed in 1905 in St. Louis, Missouri, just three short years before Henry Ford made the Model T cheap. The first station really wasn't memorable in design. This might be due to the station just serving its purpose and not being much more. Though this was a step forward from having to take the car to the hardware store or general store and having the clerk fill you up as you waited around or went down to the pharmacy to pick up a fresh soda pop that had healthy ingredients like cocaine and caffeine in it. As the car became more popular, oil companies and station owners thought it would be a good idea to get architects to design the buildings for petrol stations. The first to create such a new design was the Gulf Refining Company in 1913 in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, which allowed cars to drive up and get their vehicles serviced on the spot. Previous stations had cars parked on the side of the road, and to be honest, it was not very appealing. This station set a precedent of how service at gas stations were supposed to go about. The gas station would progress ever so slightly with the gas pumps becoming better and more efficient with actual pumps calculating price and the amount of fuel being put in your whip. As the service industry for cars boosted even more during the 20s, the fueling station became more advanced with them being suited for all weather conditions. Change after this, these implementations was very sparse and the next time that any change would actually occur would be in the late 1940s. Gotta love a glizzy man. So I just went to the gas station, and we're gonna... Let's just get back on to like, gas stations in the 1940s while I finish eating this, and then I'll, I'll come back. So gas stations in the 1940s were met with a new invention, an invention created by Frank Ulrich in 1947 with that being the idea of having gas pumps that were self-serve. He was able to do this by running the pumps off a mechanical computer with his employees having to manually reset each one to zero. This was eventually perfected in 1964 by Herb Thames, who designed a system that allowed fuel dispensers to be reset from inside the store instead of having to go to each one and resetting it that way. But you're like, Zach, what about the glizzies, the soda pops, and the steroids you can buy at petrol stations? Well, gas stations always have been paired with food. Many great fast food restaurants started in stations like KFC and Steak and Shake. Though the standard for food in these places of business came about when 7-Eleven came onto the scene in the 1960s with their revolutionary idea of creating a convenience store. The idea behind this was to provide gas, food, and entertainment to individuals on their commutes. Well, where I'm from, there are not a ton of 7-Elevens. We do have Quick Trip, and the interesting thing about QT is that they actually have a kitchen inside. Though, getting serious, I think there needs to be some appreciation for gas stations because we rely on them so much. They not only offer a huge sector of jobs for Americans, but they also are an important part of a city's infrastructure. Though, as much as I love service stations, the more we build, the more affected it has not only on the environment, but older gas stations. Many old stations are left vacant or destroyed leaving unused parcels where infill development needs to occur. Though I think we finally are seeing a new urban renewal of these old stations. Take St. Louis, Missouri and their plan to renew these abandoned buildings into restaurants and retail stores. Or my favorite redevelopment in my own town of Kansas City with gas stations being redeveloped into some of my favorite barbecue joints. So in totality, I hope this video gave you the ability to look at service stations in a different light.